Hey everybody, this is All The Things, and today we have a review of the Christmas present that my brother gave me and I just finished, which is The Push by Tommy Caldwell. Before we get started, if you like these kind of videos and you like the reviews I do, please like, comment, and subscribe, and it helps me know that I should make more videos. Um, also, if you have any book suggestions, shoot them my way and I'll, uh, I'll try to read them and tell you what I think. This book, in addition to being a biography on the life of Tommy Caldwell, also touches a lot on the culture of rock climbing as it has evolved in recent years during Tommy Caldwell's life. Um, I would say an interesting thing about this book is it chronicles some of the evolutions of the sport of rock climbing as it has become more mainstream in recent years. An example of that is it goes into a differentiation between sport climbing, free climbing, and free soloing, where sport climbing is using ropes to climb, free climbing is using ropes to climb, but you're not pulling on ropes or pulling on gear you place. You're only touching rock, and you can fall and get caught by the rope, but you're not allowed to use the rope to help you climb. And then free soloing is just climbing with no rope whatsoever. In very high, very high things that normally people use ropes. If it's very low, it's called bouldering. But, um, but that's just a little kind of idea of some of the stuff that it touches on in here and the different type of people who do those things and why they do them, why people do rock climbing, and um, some of the mentality behind people who are really dedicated to the sport. From the content in this book, it seems like Tommy went through a lot of things in his life that would stop somebody from doing things like rock climbing or things they enjoy, like uh, he was kidnapped in a foreign country and held at gunpoint by some rebels. Um, he cut his finger off, um, and he's a rock climber, so that's really important. Um, but he keeps doing things that he loves to do even though he faces struggles in his life, and he uses his love of rock climbing in order to Kind of help himself move through life and persevere and it becomes kind of a metaphor for the way that that he looks at life throughout all the adversity that tommy experiences he uses rock climbing as a metaphor or as a worldview to move through his life and fall back on in times of trouble and i think the way he wrote this book really grounds that idea that rock climbing is is a metaphor it's a way to look at life and it's not about climbing hard problems to show everybody that you did something really hard. It's about finding who you are and testing your limits. Ultimately, uh, Tommy Caldwell's biggest, most famous uh, pursuit in rock climbing is the ascent of the Don Wall, which is a part of uh, El Capitan in Yosemite. And the Don Wall is a very extreme big wall climb, and a big wall is a sport climb that has a bunch of pitches. So a uh, rope, probably about 75 meters, um, and a pitch is like you climb up until you basically have to stop because you're out of rope, and then um, your partner climbs up, and then now you have enough rope because your partner's up here, and then you climb again, and then up again. And that's a really basic view of what a pitch is. If you don't know what a pitch is, um, there's other definitions and other ways to degrade it and stuff, but really basic. And um, the Don Wall has a bunch of pitches. It's like more than 50 pitches. And um, Tommy Caldwell took almost a month and climbed it after seven years of practicing and failing to climb it. Um, and through those seven years and through his whole life, he faced a lot of things that really helped shape him and mold him to be able to be the first person not only to climb the Don Wall, but to... Uh, free climb the Don Wall, which is to climb it without pulling on ropes or placing gear and pulling gear. He only climbed on rocks with his friend Kevin. It's, it was a very amazing feat. It was in Time Magazine. It was on NPR. It's like all these crazy things. So that, that was a really big um, achievement for the sport and also for human excellence. And this book is talking about the life and chronicles of the type of person who is being prepped and challenged and grown through his own life experiences in order to achieve a feat like that, which is really insane. If you've ever been to Yosemite and you've seen El Capitan, that wall is huge. I go there every summer, um, and even just looking up at it from, from the base of floor, that wall is incredibly big. And even just to look at it, you gotta strain your neck. Um, and to climb it and to live on it for, for almost a month in order to climb it and to be touching all these little tiny hole that you can't even see until you're like an inch in front of it, squinting at it, that's, 
that's like next level stuff. Um, but uh, the way this book is written, it, it really, really puts you in the mindset of a climber, I would say, and gives you some of the values or some of the ideas that really make uh, climbing great. And also, I think it's really cool that it shows different generations of climbers, like uh, Tommy's dad was a climber, then Tommy was a climber, and then um, Kevin, his partner that helped belay him and climb on the Don Wall, was much younger than him. And they all had different mentalities and different mindsets and different reasons for climbing. And it, the book brought it out uh, in a way where it shows how even though they were different and they didn't always agree, they, they existed in the same place. And um, it, it was, it's nice to see the, um, the different perspectives inside of one book. The book is The Push by Tommy Caldwell. It's an autobiography about Tommy Caldwell by Tommy Caldwell. And it has a section in the middle with pictures, which makes this book way better because picture books are awesome. See, he cut his finger off. He's a rock climber and he cut his finger off. How crazy is that? And then he climbed the Dawn Wall after he cut his finger off, um, which is like the hardest big wall climb ever recorded, um, as far as I know. So, yeah, this is all the things. The book is The Push by Tommy Caldwell, and uh, I recommend it. And thank you to my brother Blaine for buying it for me. I didn't know it was a book until it showed up in the mail, so thank you, Blaine. But, uh, but yeah, there you go.